welcome to today's video. Hopefully you like the new camera angle. I think it works much better being a little bit closer, but hopefully you guys like it. Let me know what you think. We have a very exciting video today. I'm here with five thriller and horror books that I really want to recommend to you guys that are amazing. Horror books that I think are just perfect. Horror books that I honestly just cannot recommend enough and cannot cannot talk about enough and horror books that I honestly think I'm gonna be reading pretty regularly going forward. I wanted to recommend these to you guys, tell you a little bit about them. This will be spoiler free of course. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy and let's just jump straight in. So the first book I'm gonna recommend is of course, the Children of Red Peak by Craig DeLuey. You guys have known with my previous videos that I absolutely adored this book. It was just perfect in every way. It was disturbing, it was creepy, it was shocking, it was beautiful and emotional and it just ticked all the boxes for me and it was so beautifully written as well and it's the first book that I've read from Craig DeLuey and I was so impressed. I went out a couple of days later and bought one of his other books and I think he has three books out, it may be more, but three books at Barnes & Noble and I'm already considering picking up the third one too because I was so impressed by the writing in this book and yeah it was just perfect, just a little bit of a trigger warning as stated in my previous videos as well that this does have a lot of very shocking and disturbing content in it. It is basically situated around a group of survivors 15 years after they escaped a cult that they were part of and it was like a doomsday cult. There's a lot of like really crazy stuff that happens throughout the cult and it goes back in time and to present time and it just explores that journey from being kids in the cult, growing up, and then dealing with that trauma and dealing with the situation now and kind of revisiting it. But it is amazing. Five out of five stars. I cannot recommend this book enough. So Children Red Peak, Craig Delivery. Now the second book is an absolute classic. Stephen King's The Shining. Absolutely loved this book so much. I stormed through this book. I remember starting it and I was like, okay, this is, this is good. This is enjoyable. And I think I finished it in like two days, maybe three days and it's a fairly big book. I can't remember how many pages are in it, I'm just gonna check. Yeah so there's 659 pages in this book and I'm pretty sure I finished it in two to three days. I absolutely stormed through it, it just was so gripping. I've seen the movie before I read the book but the book is actually quite different in many ways and honestly I like both. I love the movie, love the book. I think the book has the edge for me though. I think this is I think this is a little bit better in my mind. But maybe it was because it was different. I'm not sure, but I preferred the ending in this. The ending made me cry. <laughs> but I feel like what happened and how everything played out was better than the book. And of course it was a little bit more detailed as well as it usually is in books. But I love both. And if you're a fan of The Shining, if you've seen the movie but haven't read the book, you owe it to yourself to read the book and Stephen King. You can't go wrong with Stephen King and this is definitely one of his best. Okay and the third book is my personal favourite horror book of all time, full stop, so I am very excited to announce The Hollow Places by T. Kingfisher. Guys, oh this book is perfection. If I think of a book that just is the most incredible, perfect story and everything that happens and how weird and how unique and special it is. Like this is the one book I always think about. Every time I go to the bookstore, every time I see it, I look at it and I'm just like, yeah, I love that book. <laughs> I love that book so much. If I could marry a book, I'd marry this book. Again, just like the Craig DeLuey book, this was the first book I picked up by T. Kingfisher and I was so incredibly impressed by the world building in this book. It was crazy because this book is about two friends. One of them works at a coffee shop I think and the other one works at a museum and they find this uh, mysterious hole in the wall and it basically leads to this other dimension. It gave me Backrooms vibes. If you don't know what the Backrooms is, give it a search on YouTube or Google and you'll see a whole bunch of stuff but it was so like surreal, this weird alternate universe with these weird goings on and these trees that were alive and it was just like kind of uncanny valley where it was sort of real but not quite real and it was just so 
bizarre and I love that and I haven't read anything like this. I still haven't read anything like this since finishing this book either. This is a one of a kind trip. Like honestly, one of a kind trip. As I said, Tegan Fisher's writing was fantastic. I absolutely adore the cover. Very simple, but very eye-catching, I think. This is spooky. This is spooky. Again, I fly through this book. It really is chilling. It says on the cover, it's chilling. And I agree. I went out uh, maybe a week or two after and I pretty much bought all of T. Kingfisher's books after I read this one. I read another one of her books after and unfortunately I wasn't as impressed. But as I do, it may have been that I was comparing the second book I read of hers to this one, which isn't fair. I've spoken about that in a previous video. And it's not fair to do that, but I do happen to do that because this book set the bar so high. So when I read another one of her books, I was thinking to myself, okay, this is gonna be just as good. This is gonna like shock me in the same way. This is gonna sit with me in the same way. This is gonna like take me on that same journey. And of course, every book is different. Every book is unique, it's its own adventure and it should, we should go into it thinking that and knowing that. Unless it's a series, then that's different because series are usually like set in the same universe. But in this case, it wasn't a series, they were individual books. So totally not fair, not valid to like go into the second book thinking it was gonna be just like this one. Yeah, this, this impacted me so much, I went into that and I kind of ruined the other one for myself. Perhaps I'll reread the second one. Maybe I'll like it more. Maybe now I've like processed this and I've kind of moved on Maybe I'll appreciate it more. I don't know, we'll see. Should I do that? I feel like I should do that. Anyway, moving on. Okay, so the fourth book that I'm gonna recommend is The Chain by Adrian McKinty. This book is so interesting. It's like chain mail. You know like chain letters in school where you get some prank kind of email like, oh, send this on or you're gonna die in seven days or something. Like, it, 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 it's just like that. But it's actually real, it's actually real. And it's real people and it's a lot of children, which um, are, are, is funny. <laughs> but this book is so fascinating. I love the idea behind it. And it's kind of Adrian McIntyre Phil has taken the inspiration of having that chain mail, made it into a book and made it into something that's very real and very sinister and very twisted. And I really liked that. That was very, very cool. So yeah, this book, it follows a, uh, a whole group of people, but mostly follows a, uh, a mother whose daughter is kidnapped from the bus stop. And to get her daughter back, she must kidnap someone else's child. And it like follows like that. And then when you successfully go through kidnapping someone else's child, and then, you know, then their parents kidnap another child, then your child is freed. It, it may sound kind of complicated. Hopefully that makes sense, but, it, but that's what it is. And it sounds kind of simple, right? But it's not because it, throughout this book, she's like fighting with her mind and fighting with her morals and between what's good and bad as she knows like I cannot kidnap a child like this is obviously wrong and obviously not what I should do this is a literal crime but also my daughter is very much there and I want to get her back so I, I kind of have to or my daughter's gonna die so yeah I I won't tell you guys anything about what happens but this is it's very cool book and it kept me on the edge of my seat through from the beginning to the end and um, yeah I, I really recommend it it was very very fun and last but certainly not least we have Kill Creek by Scott Thomas I read this maybe a couple months ago and it was so fun Haunted House it was like a set up interview between horror authors which is kind of meta having horror authors and then a horror author I think that's that's kind of a cool little thing. But yeah, they're invited to this house that's rumored to be one of the most haunted houses in the town. And this guy feels like it would be really fun to interview these horror authors in this house and to kind of stream it online um, to an audience. So he does that and then they go into this house and they start realizing that, hey, this house actually, there's some, there's some spooky stuff going on. 
this house actually might be haunted. And it might be. I don't want to ruin anything. But um, yeah, scary shit starts happening. And it's, it's very fun. It's very fun. It's really cool to see the journey of these horror authors, what they're like. It goes into details about why they write the horror and the character, like the, just the character building is really, really good. I love the setting, Haunted House, doesn't get better than that. Love that. Anything to do with ghosts, demons, supernatural, I am down. It's one of my favorite subgenres of horror is supernatural horror and psychological horror. Love them both. So yeah, Kill Creek embodies all of those things and it's a very fun read it's quite a big book um there's about 415 pages so it's a fairly big book but you could finish it i mean i finished it in maybe a few days so it's it's not too long it's not like it's, it's long enough i feel like it's the perfect length and yeah there's a bit of everything in here there's a bit of uh something that will keep you up at night there's a bit of romance there's just scary stuff happening here and there. Like I said, great character building, great world building, uh, very well written. I think Scott Thomas did a fantastic job. Also, I posted a thing on Instagram. I think it was just a picture and Scott Thomas, the author, ended up commenting on my picture on Instagram. I just think it's really cool. I really love it when you have authors that are engage in their fans or engage in their readers and their community i think that really makes a difference and knowing that this is just a very down-to-earth person who's just very normal very much like us and cares enough to respond and interact with the readers i think that's really nice so it actually makes me really want to support the authors more i would totally buy another scott thomas book i don't own another scott thomas book but I would be 100% down after reading Kill Creek to buy another one. Maybe I'll have to do that. I, I, I literally have six books already in my Barnes & Noble cart and I just bought six books, so you know maybe 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 my husband needs to put me on a book ban a book buying ban i don't know i don't think that would work though <laughs> but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed these recommendations let me know if you've read any of these and what you think in the comments below hollow place is obviously my favorite but i love all of these books and i wouldn't recommend books to you guys if i genuinely didn't love them and enjoy them and want you to read them as well and to experience that journey and that adventure so yes absolutely um these are books that you must read if you're a fan of thriller books if you're a fan of horror books if you're a fan of mystery supernatural psychological all of that like these books are amazing they're really amazing here we are here's the stack and uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more recommendations and suggestions, vlogs, all of that good stuff, then feel free to like the video. Feel free to subscribe if you want to see more and I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone!